It's been a year since the death of Jamie Hubley. The 15-year-old Ottawa teen took his life after battling with depression and bullying. His father, City Councillor Alan Hubley, spent the day with family today, but not before taking the time to continue his crusade to stop bullying. Maggie Padleska has that story. I'd love to have my boy back. Jamie Hubley's father, City Councillor Alan Hubley, has turned the pain of his son's death into motivation, urging everyone to join in the fight against bullying. We can't rely on parents to, to be able to watch their children every moment of the day. We can't rely on teachers to be the only ones uh, uh, policing the hallways of the schools and the washrooms. And you can't always have your best friend beside you. Bullying is a nationwide problem according to crisis centres, one that inspired a member of parliament to introduce a motion calling for an all-party committee seeking to explore and look at ways in which government can help. If we talk about cyberbullying, uh, it, it falls under federal jurisdiction. So through telecommunications regulations, the, f the federal government has uh, several ways to make uh, to be a leader on this issue and to make an impact on the lives of the children of Canada. The motion comes on the heels of the death of Amanda Todd in Vancouver. She too took her life after being bullied. Hubley says the government needs to focus its efforts and money on where help is needed most, not on committees. And we can't wait a year for action. What we need is action now. We need, uh, you know, if there's money available, uh, we should find a way to get that into the frontline troops. Frontline services, Hubley says, like the Youth Services Bureau and crisis centers. You have a kid in crisis, you don't want to wait six hours. You need help now. Before he died, Jamie wanted to establish an anti-bullying group at his school. His father now continues that effort. Do something yourself to stop bullying. Don't wait for someone else to step up and do it. Do it yourself. Talk to your friends, your family about what can we do to stop it. Maggie Padlewska, CBC News, Ottawa.